hello everybody uh, if you are been here before thank you for coming back to the channel and if you're new thank you for joining me so one of my favorite videos of the month which is my completed pages um, so in August I actually coloured 47 pages which is a lot of me there's a lot of patterns I'm gonna admit there's a lot of patterns there's also a lot of books I haven't coloured in before so I'm really happy with that um, particularly Jade Summer, I've done a lot of Jade Summer in August. So let's have a look. So first of all I did one in Creative Haven's Rose Windows. I'm just trying to get the setup right. It's been a while since I filmed in here. And so I did this one. And I dusted this with various uh, markers. I think they were the um, Boldmere ones from the works. I really love this book. Um, I haven't got that. Oops. A bit, uh, sort that out later. But uh, yeah, I like working this book. I think they're so beautiful. So yeah, that was just done with that. I'll find somewhere to put them now because there's so many of them. I did do, uh, uh, I think two, was it? Yeah, two in Sally Berry's 300 Mandalas. I do like this book as well, just like picking it up and having a go. So let me just find the ones I did. Now with these, I tend to colour them in order, so they should be quite easy to find. That's one of my favourites actually so far. So I did this one, and again this was just done with various um, glitter gel pens, probably the Link Shines, because they are my favourites and I've got so many of them, I just don't mind colouring with them all the time. And then... I just did this black and gold one again with the link shines because I just felt like doing a two-tone so I really like that I think it looks really nice Find somewhere to put that one now <laughs> that's a big one I, I did do one in Stefania Miro's Easy Flower Mandalas this is one of the first books I got I've done quite a few in this book and I do like it and again it's just been done with the bold mirror uh, markers. I might do one with them um, pastel colours next time but again I really do like this book. I love my patterns. Um, you might have noticed, I've tried to sort them out into patterns and mandalas, then pictures, then pattern and mandala, colour by numbers and then colour by number pictures. So that's why you've seen all the patterns first. I should explain that at the beginning but no I didn't. So that's that one. And the next one I've got is another 300 page mandala book, um, which I got, I got this one last month, it was in my haul. I've only done one so far and I've done the first one. Again, this has just been using my alcohol markers, probably the bold me looking at it. Let me take that out, I don't need that now. <laughs> um, I just love markers in these. I do use pencils as well sometimes, but not very often that one so I'll be doing some more in these some of these book pattern books this month because I, I do find it very relaxing to do them then I got swirls for beginners by Jade Summer this is one I just like to do every now and again I haven't done many in this one to be honest and I just did this one this was done using the Giotto glitter pens if you remember when we did our first impressions I did do a bit of colouring in this book with them and I do quite, I like them. They're very nice. Also Jade Summer books, but that's separate. Uh, I did one in Creative Haven's <coughs> Infinite Illusions colouring book by John Wick. I think, I love this book. This reminds me of a computer game from the 80s to be fair. Kind of like a Pac-Man type game maze game and I, I just like them and again it was just done using the bold mirror markers is it just four colors red green yellow and blue it took a while but I did enjoy that one uh, I did one in unicorn coloring book you'll have seen that a uh, flip through of this one on the channel um, this was so cute and again it was just done using the this time the uh, deco time twin markers from B&M and the gel pen and he's so cute she's so cute I love unicorns so I'm glad I got this book didn't take very long because they are for kids so 
I just want a nice easy unicorn picture to do. Haha, <laughs> I'm in this one. Uh, one from Colour Your Hood 2022. Cute Animals by Jade Summer. And this is volume two. I have got both of them. And I did colour in the other one as well. It's just not yet. And I did this cute little frog. Again, it's just alcohol markers. Just the um, oh, Deco Time twin markers. But he's such a cute little frog. And I'm glad because I hadn't coloured in this one before. So it is one off of Colour My Hood. I'm really pleased to be actually getting through some of the... Uh, ones I haven't coloured in. Another Jade Summer book, but I had coloured in this one before, is Space. So Jennifer started colouring in this book and she just scribbles. So I took over when she got bored and I just put it away. But I'm trying to get rid of all the whips that I've got. So I came back and I finished it off. This one, uh, this is just, I, this what book I just used Crayola crayons in. So as you can see, there's a bit of red there. That's where Jennifer was just scribbling on it, but I, it turned out okay, actually. I like using the Crayola crayons, it's just so much fun. And the other one she scribbled on was this one. I don't know if you can see there's a red mark there. That's just a bit of crayon. But in here there's all red in his helmet. There was red all down here. But I just went over it and, and, and just coloured it in with colours similar to what we'd put over it. And I actually quite like the way it turns out. I love using the crayons. It's just fun using crayons, as you can see she scribbled on this page as well with something white. And I don't mind, in this book I don't mind, it's just for fun this one. And then another one from Colour Your Hoard 2022 is Graffiti Animals. Again Jade Summer, I said I did, I just got a pile of Jade Summer ones, I haven't marked this one. And literally I've just put them on top of the thing and I pick one every now and again. Um, off of the pile and just do a picture in that book and I did the jellyfish and again it's just markers these ones probably uh, looking at it this would be the uh, oh, twin markers deco time they are running out fast with some glitter gel pen for the words jellyfish I enjoyed that it was actually really nice to do Cute Animals Volume 1 by Jade Summer. Another one for Colour Your Hoard 2022. As you can see, I really got through them this time, didn't I? And I did this gorgeous little elephant. I only did this one the other day. And I really loved it. It's just before the end of the month. He was so cute to do. So again, this was all various markers. This one was a real mishmash. So I've got some from... Oh god, what is it? Uh, Arteza on his tusk and here. Um, these ones were Oh Hoo Hoo. And the others I have no idea. They could be Oh Hoo Hoo. They could be any of the others. I got so many. It used to be I would just use one set and just colour with that set. Now I'm just using anything to get what I want. And the heat is so adorable. I've done so many Jade Summer books. Here's another one for Colour Your Horn 2022. Tattoos Volume 2. I did this one of the anchor in the rose. I think it's really cute. Again, just various markers. I don't worry, like I said, it's just all different markers and I just whack them in. It's a mixture of oh hoo hoo, twin markers, and bold me. So, yeah. Next, we've got a whip that has been hanging around for over a year. I finally finished it's from uh, Mind Summer Spice Gang or My Summer Walk by Rita Berman. I started this when I was on holiday in Tenby last year and never finished it. Um, and it is this double page spread. Started it with Prisma colours, probably finished it with God knows what. <laughs> I think I used um, Prismas, Polys, and Black Widows. I think it's just a very brightly coloured uh, scene of various houses. I mean, it's really cute. I do like this book. I will. I do want to get the others. I just. I'm just trying not to buy anything at the moment. Another Jade Summer from Colour Your Hoard 2022. Girls can be anything. And where is it? Girls can be photographers because that's me. And Jennifer picked this picture and she said, "You colour that one, Mummy." So sometimes I do let Jennifer pick pages for me. And she picked this one. 
she said because you like doing that she's <laughs> so funny there's that one so as you can see I coloured a lot there's a lot of markers to be fair but I do like the markers I, do, I have got some pencil ones somewhere I promise now this is kawaii foods now Jennifer has coloured in this one um, it was for me but as you can see Jennifer has half the first half of the pages and I have the second half I've got an orange tab in there so I know where the duplicate pages start and I did the first one again which Jennifer did again I used various markers I think this was all the um, twin markers because that's a nice yellow but that's a dark yellow so it might have come from a different pack um but yeah i enjoyed that it's really sweet so that one me and jennifer are actually working in together she has her set of pages i have mine what i probably will do is at some point as i will just cut them out and i'll put them in a folder i just can't be bothered to do it right now um the adult coloring book another jade summer book i i don't know sure whether i colored in this one before no this is another one color your hoard that's the Mom colouring book. Do you know what? It seems like years since I did this. It seems like absolutely years. Yeah, I know it was only last month. It was must be right at the beginning. Because that's the bold, that, that's the um, Deco Time Twin markers. I can tell that by the colour. But the red's not. The red is uh, oh hoo hoo. Isn't it funny how you can tell by the colours? <laughs> but again, just trying to get some of my hoard down, which is good news few relaxed with arts coming up oh there's quite a few actually so the first one is this is a christmas one i think yeah christmas one again this one's been hanging around for a couple of years so i decided to finish it off because as you know i am whipping the whips and trying to get rid of them all and i'm doing really well i've got about five left and most of those are double page spreads <clears throat> so this is santa and he is checking his list and this was done with i think various pencils because I don't like the way pencils go down in this book at all <laughs> I just don't I think I finished it with prismas but I'm not sure there's that one now this relax with art I did oh I love this one quite seems like years since I did this one as well this one with my markers and again I love it this was probably the this is a mixture the um twin markers Bold and bold mirror with some a glitter gel pen as well on her tassels and her the top part of her outfit just because she was so she sparkles I like this page I think it looks really nice with a dark blue background I'm actually enjoying colouring and relax with arts at the moment I'm really really enjoying them colouring heaven next gothic fantasy by Ennis Guerrero and I did uh, this one which is let us thrill her, the star and as you can see it was done with pencils prisma colors um yeah i enjoyed that one it didn't take too long but uh, i wanted the water to look like water would look at night which if there's enough moonlight and enough starlight it looks almost like mercury it's a very silvery thing there's that one I'm going to have fun putting all these books away, aren't I? Not. <laughs> and then another Relax With Art one. This one is Issue 84. And, oh, that's a nice one. Let me just find it. Where are you? And this one was done for Coloropoly, which is hosted by Sarah at Chronic Colouring Down Under. So I had three rolls and three prompts, and one of my prompts was fairy. So I did this beautiful fairy with a unicorn. Um, again, it's just various markers. I believe it was the twin markers, the Art Deco twin markers. And on her wings, I've used the Giotto turbo glitter pens and also on the unicorn's uh, hair, um, his mane, tail and his horn. So yeah, so that was one of my prompts for Coloropoly. Uh, this is also a prompt for Coloropoly. And my prompt for this one was uh, Summer. So I picked this lovely lady sitting on the beach. Again, it's been done with my uh, twin markers. 
and yeah I just enjoyed colouring it nice sunny summer one for Colouropoly all my Colouropoly ones together so the next one's also Colouropoly and it's also all of these are also Colour Your Hordes 2022 there's a lot of them isn't there <laughs> so there's this one I did like my last prompt for August was a favourite character so I did Betty Boop entering Hollywood so <laughs> And then this was done with various markers. Yeah. I would say, looking at it, it was done again with the twin markers. But I do like it. I love Betty Boop. So that was my Colouropoly's favourite character prompt. Another whip I have had hanging around for a long, 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 long time was in Back in Time by Relax Without. This is the holiday special that they do quarterly. And um, this one was like, obviously back in time so it's all different decades and eras um, a long time ago I started this one of the girls from the 1980s and all I'd done on this picture literally when I abandoned it for whatever reason was this skin so I had a lot to do on this one there is some glitter gel pen on the stars and the glitter ball um, but the rest of it is various markers so we've got um, Windsor and Newton's here for the bright the fluorescent colours and then twin markers for the rest of it but yeah I enjoyed doing that I'm glad I finished it I love the 80s I grew up in the 80s so for me this was one of my favourites enjoyed that one uh, another one that I hadn't coloured in before Deco Dolls by Carla Magania and I did this one this was a buddy colour with Chelsea Jade Murray Oh no, Chelsea, she's fantastic. We always do a buddy colour every month and we usually do a, a Carla Morgana one. Again, this has been done with various markers. Um, the Bold Mirrors, uh, I'm not sure what the skin tone was, but I also used the Giotto glitter pens as well. So I like that one. It's not my favourite Carla Morgana I've done, but I, you know, it was an experiment and yeah, I enjoyed it. It was fun. I need to change my battery. I'll be back. Okay, we're on to the colour by numbers now. I've actually got the pictures first and then the patterns, which is fine, I don't mind. So we got Kawaii Colour by Number by Colour Questopia. I did loads in this book. I love this book. It's one of my favourites. I'm not going to lie. So I saw this on somebody's channel. I can't remember whose channel it is. I do apologise, but I did, I think, four or five in this one. Four, I think. I just love it. Look at it. So again, this was done using um, a glitter gel pen, silver gel pen for the edges, and then um, the DecoTime twin markers. But although it will change, and uh, we've used different markers throughout it. So this was I do them in order. So I did this one, and this one. Jennifer loves this one, the lollipops. I did this one as well I love this one this is so cute again these are all the the twin markers at the moment and then I think I changed it on the last one and these are a mixture of different markers um, but I did those four out of that one and I admit I do love them I will be doing more in this book this month I am keeping my colour by numbers because I'm loving them right now they're just so easy to do in bed at night when I'm watching telly or just trying to relax again I saw this on somebody's channel and I can't remember who it was but this is uh, Sachin Sach Davis St Patrick's Day <laughs> I know St Patrick's Day is in March but I don't care I love leprechauns and things like that and so I mean it's a kids book but it's so cute and I just did this one to start with and I just think he's adorable. So this is just such a cute book. I have got a flip through to go up on this. I just love it. I think it's so sweet. Um, we all know my favourite one is Stained Glass Egyptian Designs because I love anything to do with Egypt. So I did another one in here. This book is not long to be finished. I tell you, there's not many left. Um, it won't be this year, but I mean next year I'll be finishing this one definitely. It's not a lot left. Look, as you can see, there's that. There are only a few left, so it's, I, I might do 10 books to finish in 2023, and this would be definitely on the list. But I do love this again. Uh, Deco Time Twin Markers on this one, 
love it. I just love this book. I'm gonna have to get it again. It's just so nice. Do it again. <laughs> then I've got a Halloween colour by number by Prachi Dwan, such diva. Um, I'm just getting ready for Halloween. I love anything spooky, so it doesn't bother me what time of year I do it in. But I did this one, again using my markers. Um, this one I would say was again using the twin markers. And again, I do like this book. I'll be doing this again this month because we are now getting close to Halloween. Yay! Piles of books everywhere. And then I'd got another Halloween colour by number. This one for adults by Prachi Dewan Such Diva. And I did this one. And he's so cute, a little ghost in the house. Just saying happy Halloween. Again, a mixture of markers from the twin markers and the bold mirrors on this one. But oh, I really enjoyed doing that one. I just love that one. It's so cute. I did a couple in which fancy one was a buddy colour. I do apologize, I can't remember who it was I did it with, but this was the buddy colour. I did two, so I did this one. Again, this is another book I really like colouring in. And again, this was done using the twin markers. And I also did that one, which is another gorgeous one. This is such a lovely book. I mean, I've never been big on colour by numbers and I've got quite a few colour by number books now and I'm enjoying uh, doing them. I particularly like these, these picture ones. The pattern one's great too, but uh, yeah, we'll be getting more uh, colour custopia. I'm trying not to buy at the moment just because I'm trying to save money because Christmas is coming and of course everything is going up. So, But of course once I get my payout from Google, which won't be long hopefully, I will buy some books. I love that book. Oops, they've all just fallen down. That's why I put them away soon. 100 Easy Mandala Colour by Number Satin at Steva Volume 1. So I like this book as well. It's nice and simple. Again, this was, I've done, oh, I've done two in this one, have I? Oh, yeah. Uh, that was done using the twin markers again, because I just use them a lot. I do like this one, and again, twin markers. You see, this one's running out. <laughs> That's rose beige. Um, but yeah, this is a great book. I mean, again, I... I it, it goes without saying, if it's colour by number, I, I, although it bulks the numbers up, that's not why I colour them, I just colour them because I find them very relaxing. I have got quite a few pictures on the go, and some I really want to do as well this month, so. Beautiful Patterns, colour by number by Jade Summer. Again, I did this one using the Twin Markers. Again, these patterns are, are very sweet, very lovely, and these ones are a bit more in deep complicated because there's so much to them they fill up the page pretty much but I do like it I think it's an amazing one I'll have a sip of tea because mm -hmm. I'm getting thirsty and it's coke on it next colour by number Christmas again this is a Jade Summer and if you think it's not nowhere near Christmas I don't care I don't care I wanted to colour in this book so I did and when I find it I did this one, again, using the Twin Maskers. Again, I, I do like this one. I like anything Christmas though. I'm a big Christmas person, so I will be doing some more in that this month, hopefully. I mean, I'm not gonna guarantee it, but it depends. Colour by number patterns, Jade Summer, again, uh, this one. I prefer the one they call beautiful patterns. I do think it's a nicer one, but it's still nice. It's, you know, still good colours. Even, you know, and I'm using the alcohol markers rather than the water-based ones for a while now. Because um, I've got a load of uh, alcohol markers that are going to be going soon. Uh, so I want to see what I've got so I know I have got a complete set of Artesas ready to go that I use every now and again sparingly. But I'm saving up for some more, uh, probably hoo hoo hoos, because I do like them. And put that there to one side. Uh, Jade Summer Mandala Colouring Book, um, Colour by Numbers. Again, this is a good one. I've done quite a few in this one, actually. And that's that one. They, they, these don't take very long. Look how small they are on the page. They don't take up much of the page at all. Oops, I stuck to my finger. They don't take much. We've not 
we're getting there, not many left now. <laughs> but again, um, oh, I can't think, uh, twin markers, uh, deco time. Now I'll just jump and take whichever ones I want. I think oh, I'll have that colour next, that colour next. Colour by number flowers, again, Jade Summer. This one, that was deco time, twin markers. I can tell by the shade of lemon. It's called a lease. It's a beautiful colour. Again, these don't take long. These don't take long, but I enjoy doing them. They are just so relaxing. It's like, oh, I need a red. Oh, I need a pink. And it doesn't matter. Do you just grab it and you go? And I love it. Next is 50 Diamond Mandalas Colour by Numbers by Sachin Sachdeva. Most of my books are by Sachin Sachdeva just because I like his work. I really do. And Prachi, I've got a few of hers as well. So there's this one. Again, this was done with the various markers. I say various because there's a very dark one in there. I think that's black, yeah. So that would be Ohuhu or Bold Mirror. And the rest of it's going to be Deco Time Twin Markers, I believe. Ah, there's some Ohuhu in there. That's Ohuhu colour. So as you can see, I just mix and match all the markers now and just stick down whatever colour I think is going to look right. Uh, Christmas Patterns Colour by Number by Prachi Duan Sachdeva. This is this one. Oh, I love Christmas. Now, on these ones, you've got the writing as well. So although I haven't counted them as, the counted that as a picture, I had to colour in this one first. And we are better throughout the year for having spirit. Become a child again at Christmas time. Laura Ingalls Wilder. And then I coloured this one. Again with various. Did I do that one or was that the one I did before? No, that's the one I did before. Sorry. It was Christmas is truly Christmas when we celebrate it by giving a light of love to those who need it most. Oh yes, that's right. It was this one. He's gorgeous, this one. With a little snowman. Jennifer loved this one as well. She was oh, I love the snowmen. And then I wrote, did this page. I get so confused with this one because of the writing. I love the Christmas tide, and yet I noticed this each year I live. I always like the gifts I get, but how I love the gifts I give. And that is true because Christmas is about giving. Whether it's presents, uh, love, support, compassion, help to charity, and, and so on. Yeah, I do like that book. Yeah, that one. And then Christmas again. Colour by Number Bandalas by Slash and Slash Dave. This is a dinky little book, isn't it? It's so cute. And yeah, again, various markers. Oh, who, who's. Um, Deco Time. Bold Mirror. I don't tend to use the Ateezer Everblends on here. I might use them for my first set, which I'm still working my way through, but the second set is just sitting there. I've had them a year. <laughs> I do use them occasionally if there's a colour missing that I need. But there's that one. This is a long video, so I hope I'm not boring you. Um, I did do one in this one, didn't I? I haven't marked this one. Is it, which one did I do? It was this one. So the next one is 50 Christmas Mandalas, colour by number, Satin Such Diva. And I did this one, again with various markers, mostly the twin markers. Again, I think this, this book is just adorable. Oh. And finally, the very last picture I've got to show you is from 50 Halloween Mandala Colour by Numbers by Satin Such Diva. And I did this one with the skulls. I do like this one. I think it's really sweet. Um, again, I love anything spooky. I love gory and spooky, hence why I've got the beauty of horror books. But I can see me doing a few more pages in this before the end of October. Um, again, I will be trying to do Colour Your Hoard. But that is all the pages I coloured in the month of August. I can't pick a favourite because I love them all. And I had a really, really good time. I read a load of books. Um, you'll see that when I do my reading wrap up. But I also coloured a ton of pages and I'm so happy I did. I had a great time. Uh, a great, great time in, in, in August. Let's hope September's as good. 
and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for joining me. I know it was a long one. It probably won't be as long next time and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.